All right, hello everyone. Uh, today we're gonna look uh, at, uh, we're still looking at this new add-on uh, called uh, BioBlender. Uh, now what we're gonna look at, it's gonna be, last time we looked at the importer and material. Now we're gonna look at uh, the membrane section of it. Um, so membranes, uh, we can uh, we get uh, one setting for it, uh, or two settings for it. Uh, one is uh, if you want the face to be a spinodal or domain. Um, and then we get uh, we get to choose if we want it to be planar or uh, want it to be a vesicle. So for now, to uh, for this to make a little more sane, more sense, uh, and we can select the color as we are importing them. Uh, for now, for it to make sense, let me show you what they look. So this is what a spinodal uh, would look. So these uh, by layers are made out of two lipids in this case, uh, and basically uh, the spinodal is giving us the, the this particular. Uh, the composition uh, of of these lipids within our membrane. Uh, we can again uh, move this one and then bring a vesicle. Uh, sorry, not vesicle, but let me change uh, to the main and bring a planar membrane again, so we can see the difference. If we go to the top view, so basically uh, this is in the top what a spinodal would look. This is what uh, domain would look in the bottom. Uh, we can play around with the settings so if we go to the modifiers and uh, we go to the last modifier here we can uh, move this uh, x and y texture scale to get different uh, effects uh, so here in this case i increase the size i can go down again and then have maybe this representation and then again uh, if i go really low then it just looks like a random distribution of lipids uh, i can do the same for my spinodal so if i grab my spinodal and then again I go to that modifier to modify the X and Y on this texture scale then I can increase that, uh, I can change uh, the way it looks and again I can go uh, the other way and then get this effect uh, another slider, once we have selected one of these objects uh, that is a membrane emitter uh, the other thing that we can do is the cross section so we would have a setting here called cross section and then we can uh, what we can do with the cross section is that we can slide it and then it's going to generate uh it's going to generate a cross section of this uh, membrane that we're looking at uh so this is what it would look like and we can also change the scale of these types of objects uh in x y uh c uh basically uh moves our membrane uh, uh away from from each other so what we could do would be uh, if we wanted a, a larger thickness in our membrane we can uh, use this in combination with also editing our uh, lipids here to have longer tails and that's how we would uh, uh, change that thickness but for now let's go again back to 111 in fact let me delete this and show you the other option we get here so let me go back to spinodal get a vesicle here uh, again let's keep the colors default uh, so now once I have this vesicle here uh, the cross section is a little bit more interesting right uh, since it's a vesicle uh, but again I can do the same I can go there uh, change the cross section. I can also change the scale of this again. So basically, changes that uh, texture around our uh, uh, vesicle. So let me just go down on this value. And then another thing that I can uh, I can do again, it's modify the scale. But in this one, it's also a little bit more interesting. So we can modify the scale of our uh, cell or our uh, membrane, uh, depending on what we want to do here. Uh, and then again, the the, uh, the density stays constant as we change this scale. Uh, so let me just go back. I uh, usually don't like to touch C because the membrane thickness is set to be uh, close. Uh, it the, the membrane thickness is set to be uh, realistic. So around uh, 4.8 to 5 nanometers, it's uh, what gets imported. Uh, what else can we do? We can also change the density. So these measures get imported with, uh, these objects get imported with 2000 density because it's uh, easy to work around, but if we want to do the final render or if we're just going to get want to get more density, we can go to 5,000 or even uh, 10,000 uh, oh, 10, and we will get more lipids in our membrane. Um, and then here the separation defines, uh, so there is no overlap. If I put this number to zero, then we would have overlap, but um, uh, it depends on what we want to do, but I, I can go down to 0.1 and then we're going to get way more lipids. But again, now we see that overlap uh, so we can go back to 0 0.02 uh, another thing that we can do here so if I go back to my uh, main uh, vesicle 111 and then uh, I just go back to my cross section to, so I have it all uh, other thing I can do to change the shape of this object would be if I go to edit mode 
uh, and if I hide uh, my my emission then I am able to see the cube and then again if I activate proportional editing maybe and I grab a vertex there and another vertex here uh, and I hit S to scale I can kind of uh, work and play around with these shapes uh, so maybe I want something that looks like that and then again now if I enable uh, this again so now my membrane took that shape and again the cross section works uh, in the same way so now I get this nice uh, cross section on my shape uh, this is pretty useful to do red blood cells or, or vesicles or cells that have all different shapes uh, we would have to model it and then um, after we model it then uh, yeah we just uh, turn on the modifier again um, the reason the reason it's it, it's f it, the reason I'm turning the modifier off is for it to see the mesh and for performance issues. Uh, but again, since I'm only working with one of them, uh, uh, Blender is still running pretty good. Uh, I can even uh, duplicate these objects uh, if I want more than one. Uh, then I can have different uh, types of vesicles. And again, uh, this would uh, make sense uh, again if I want maybe some uh, organelles so I can. Uh, duplicate it and then scale it and then I can have something a uh, membrane within a membrane uh, and, and so on um, so let me uh, show you this last part of it so let me go back to the regular vesicle uh, what works really good again with this it's uh, the materials uh, so here we have the regular uh, they uh, get imported with the real material but if you want to visualize this uh, a cartoon uh, that I think that looks pretty good uh, we have to grab our lipids these ones are the one being emitted by this so the ones we want to edit are here so we can grab them both and then select uh, our materials oh, grab them both select my uh, cartoon material we apply that uh, and then if we want to change the color we can go to the uh, material uh, settings uh, here the best way is to go to shading and then we can uh, basically change the color here uh, so we, before I do that I have to uh, click here that way I unlink the data so I get a color for each and maybe I want to go green uh, and if I go back then I have this being shown as a cartoon uh, again I can select it and apply a line art uh, so that line art is pretty low so let me go and uh, remove it and let me reapply it with maybe 0.1 uh, thickness and that looks much better so now we get this vesicle with line art and again uh, this is again all in real time and then we can go ahead and uh, if we select our object then we're gonna have our cross section we can again play with that cross section uh, another thing that we can do here that is the last setting found in membrane is displacement so we can automatically add some uh, displacement so this doesn't look uh, uh, too perfect right uh, so if we uh, add displacement in this case um, it's gonna add displacement uh, to our uh, vesicle so as you see now it's not longer a perfect circle and for this let me go just go back to here to the uh, viewport uh, and then it also uh, gives this slider here uh, what we can do with it is uh, if we change the position of this slider so if I move it on the X as we see we get some motion in our uh, vesicle uh, and again I can animate this so I could move this uh, X uh, set a keyframe move the timeline set another keyframe uh, and then it would be animated same with the cross section so if I select here and I I can insert uh, a keyframe to my cross section and animate it as well um, uh, last thing I'm gonna show is that this also works with uh, my planar membrane so if I add a planar membrane uh, and keep in mind that uh, uh, since I haven't deleted these two lipids, everything that I import after that is going to have the materials of the lipid. That way, we we don't have uh, to uh, play again with our materials. So once we have set our materials here, then even if I bring a vesicle or another planar membrane, it's going to keep those materials. Uh, so let me just move this out of the way, go back to this, uh, and let me select displacement again. So now we're going to see that motion. Uh, now our it's not uh, planar anymore. More and then again we can select this slider and then uh, slide it and move it so we get that motion and all of this can be animated alright so that's for the membrane section uh, next time we will talk about uh, the combined workflow with proteins and membranes and how to scatter them um, so uh, see you then